Welcome back to our second instalment of uh, ODT Cricket Chat. It went pretty well last week. Now, we didn't have a set last week, so we've gone to huge expense. We've got a nice little cricket bat here and a nice little cricket ball. <laughs> and with me tonight, I've got, uh, I've got Aaron Redmond, who's uh, what are you, well, well, the key batsman on the vault side. And we've got Big Ian Butler, uh, current New Zealand player, but with well, a bit of a back issue at the moment. But we'll talk about that in a minute, Ian. So... So why did my question first question to you, Aaron? So why did you so why did you have to get butts to drive you here tonight? Have you not have you not got a license? Oh, I sort of I sort of have a license. You've you know, never had one, have you? I've never had one. No, actually, I can't can't lie to you. Can he drive? Uh he's never seen I've me never drive. Seen You've never seen him but drive. But to be fair, there is no better navigator than him. Pretty good. Outstanding. Is he is he quite a good co-driver though? Or is he just uh, better at navigating? Yeah, I like to Shall go we slow. talk about the intersection incident? <laughs> <laughs> he no, panics. He panics. It's part of my contract, mate, that I don't drive. Yep. While I'm here, and Butsy drives me around. So. so that's part of the deal. That's ideal, mate. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So, now, Butts, you were supposed to be you were supposed to be over on tour at the moment, so the back's no good? Yeah, had a scan last week. Um, not too bad. Uh, we'll just wait how, we'll see how things go in the next few weeks. So it's, it's, the old, it's, just, it's a disc problem, obviously. Yeah. So how, you don't have, so you've got no idea how long you'll be out? No, nah, it's one of those things where you've got to... Sort of meet the physio's next requirement before you can move on to the next step. Well, because you know your things have come well for you. You were back in the New Zealand side last year, back in the 2020 squad, and you were going to go over to. We going to? We just going to Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka. Yeah, yeah. It's a frustrating time. I guess there's never any good time to get injured. Um, someone else opportunity gets yeah. you know, take your spot. But you know, in terms of our schedule, we don't have a lot of cricket in the next little while. So, you know. The bright side is that I'm not missing too much cricket, hopefully. Right. So you're still so the if the you know, hopefully the back comes right, you're still on the obviously you're obviously still in the front. For the only for the twenty twenty squad, you reckon? Um, or one day as well. But at the end of the day, if you're playing well you, you can get looked at for any in. format. So I don't I don't look at that at all. I just focus on playing as well okay. as I can for right. us. So mate, what about you? You're just in the world. Uh yeah, sort of in the you're world. Still, you're still a, you're, you're still close enough. Oh, I think I'm getting closer, but you know, just taking along. I mean, I'm happy to play. Who did you upset? Oh, probably everyone in New Zealand cricket, mate. To be fair, yeah. Now I noticed you the other night when we want to talk about the big game, and you know, you know, I, I built you up last week, and you, and you go out and yep. you immediately lose. So I'll take the blame for that. But yep. so you were you were mic'd up on Friday night. Does, yeah, that, was. Is that a bit of a distraction for you? Oh, not really. I mean, I'm... is it quite heavy to wander around with that on? Oh, you fine, mate. Is he any good in the field anyway? <laughs> mate, I'm in the. I'm in all the spots, so I'm actually hiding, eh? You right. Know, you know, third man and four leg and stuff, so it doesn't yeah. affect me too much, mate, because I don't run around. So, so it's not too, it's not too cumbersome to wear. No, not really. Right. Easy. Easy. And you were, I, I have to say, I don't want to, I don't want to piss in your pocket, but I felt you were a lot better. Than, you're, you're adding a lot more than Cumming was adding on behind the microphone. Yeah, uh, yeah, I don't rate him at all. It's chat. It's chat yeah. average. He's only actually got that job for the meantime, and once my career finishes, I'm going to. Start I noticed that. you, um, you were putting your name forward the other night. I thought it was quite good. <laughs> <laughs> Bit of an interview there, trying to get on. So, let's talk about the game. Now, so from you, we weren't playing um, butts, but I read in the paper on Monday that uh, Veg is, you know, he's never short of a word, and he came out with he felt the bowlers were bowling for its salad. So, were the bowlers that a few times? Yeah, does he say that a bit? Um, I think you know that's just a generic just thing he uses. VJ description for if you yeah. bowl badly. Yeah, and twenty twenty is a tough gig for bowlers, you know. You can bowl as well as you want on a day and you can go the distance and then vice versa, not bowl that well, pick up two for ten. Yeah. Maybe not ten, but I think we we going forward to the N D game in Hamilton, it's a tough ground to bowl at. It's pretty short straight. Yeah. Um, we just need to be a lot smarter and, and at the end of the day it's not really it's just about confidence. You can't allow what happened the other night to affect the guys going forward. So sure that's my that's the question. So like, it's a the twenty twenty is a real confidence game. And I I I thought I've look young Jacob Duffy sort of he sprayed it a bit early on. But he was a key bowler for you last year. I mean, he'll come right. Oh, and you know, could be t- ten seconds away from being back on track. Even guys who've played a, a lot of cricket, you know that you're going to disappear probably three out of ten games. And Jake's played probably 15, 16 games for us now. Hardly ever gone. I mean, so. what are the, what do you guys as bowlers think of it? Is it a pretty unfair game? Twenty twenty for you guys? No, it's the same for bowlers on both teams. Right. Uh, I think that sometimes the unfairness can come out from boundary sides. That's the only thing you really. Yeah. And that gets. Spread around the country, I guess. Some yep. grounds have bigger boundaries. Yeah. So, readers, are you taking responsibility for losing the game? <laughs> hey, yeah, why not? I'll, well, I'll go for it, mate. Well, it was, yeah. it was it was interesting. We like we started off with a hiss and a roar. Broomy went nuts. Yeah, for he start. Did. Hit him, Chris. Hey, yeah, he was fun. really yeah. he was batting really well, and of course, poor old uh, Jesse the other end just couldn't get bad on it. Yeah. And then he came right. 
Yeah. And then he, get, he gets, when, just when he started to you know, middle it, <laughs> he gets himself, he gets run out, yeah, which is a fluke. Bit unfortunate, eh, yeah. for him. So yeah. we sort of dragged through the middle? Yeah, it was, uh, I mean, the middle stages did drag on. Uh, one of the guys, one of the young offies, you know, bowled two overs to six, so... Did he bowl, did he, who was that kid? He, uh, I don't know, bowl, I mean, he, he is a good bowler, but, you know... Is he, a, the way is he, rel- is he related to Trent? Yeah, he is, his brother. It's a brother? Yeah. He, did, he, he looked like he bowled quite well, though. He did bowl well. Um, he bowled well in the conditions, but I think when we look in hindsight, we could have taken a few more risks, I think. Because you hadn't lost many wickets, had you? No, well, that's a disappointing thing. We only ended up three, three down at the end of the chase, eight runs behind, and realistically, you know, that's... We lost that game through those middle stages, eh? So, so what did you think? What's that? The the Australian that they brought the two Australian imports over. What did you think of the Australian bowler? He bowled well. He did a tough job bowling into the wind. Yeah, um, he's quite clever. He bowled lots of change of paces. Looked like a useful bouncer and hit the hole. But I guess you know, looking at the way we batted the other night, I think going forward you'll definitely see our guys probably not die in a hole, but. I think that's our philosophy. If we're going to lose, we might as well lose. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. yeah. so what, it, it was Veg pretty grumpy after the game. Yeah, I think he's always pretty grumpy. Veg, when he oh yes, yeah. that's Vijay though. Yeah, but you know, I think us players in a hole were quite grumpy as well. Yeah, the fact that you know we did lead, you know let an opportunity slip there, um, but like but he said, hey, this week we had a chance to actually correct it. So we go up there. So what's different about you talking about the what's different about the Hamilton ground? Uh, very short straight. So it's not right, yep. So that's something you've got to take into account with the bowlers, but... A bit quicker, I reckon, as well. Yeah, but quicker maybe than a bit more pace bounce. Yeah. yeah. They're a very strong side. I mean, you look at their side they put out, it is a good Apart side. Apart from those really bad pink uniforms. Um, <laughs> they are they still hated? Is ND still hated? Any team that's got Styrus in it's hated. Well, so. <laughs> so we just hate Styrus. <laughs> not far off. He <laughs> <laughs> no, like bought Red as a drink the other night. We had to always frame the beer. I know. Yeah, so well, is that the yeah. first drink he's ever bought? Yeah, I actually kept the bottle away, to be fair. So. <laughs> you, should have, you should have got him to sign it. Yeah, well, yeah. No, he, he, he wouldn't go that far. So, because, I mean, the, the word on the street is that nobody just nobody likes Northern District. Yeah. I mean, I've got, I've got some good mates in there, eh? But, yep. you, you know, you like to beat them, don't you? So, yeah. you know, I mean, we're probably one of those sides, especially Butsy's come. Come from NDA. And well, you were, a North, you were a Northern man. Yeah, he played seven years there. Right. I, so, I mean, I enjoyed playing against them as much as they, the other team, but yeah. it's always nice to get, get one up on the guys you played with a lot of your career. Yeah. So, so, um, what, what are you, what, so what's the plan for the batsmen for this week? I mean, obviously you realise you're only four down. and yeah. So is there is going to be... Well, then you, had, you had the urgency at the start. You sort of drift in the middle and then you had some urgency at the end. But, yeah. So what happens? This, what, what are you boys going to focus on this week? Uh, I just think it's a classic case of playing without any fear. Um you know, just approach the game like we have this game, but obviously in those middle stages, uh, maybe target some of those lesser bowlers. Um, as well as that, having plans against that Aussie A eh, when you bowl those slow balls, um, they you know they tend to drift out quite wide to off stump. So you know, maybe targeting a few different areas. You know, against so them, the other thing was, I mean, because all you guys have over the last few weeks with either form of cricket, most of you guys have got a score, haven't you? Yeah, I mean, everyone, everyone's everybody's in, in touch. Yeah, everyone's in touch. Um, and we know how important this game is coming up, you know, for our campaign. So, yeah, I know. I, th- I think we'll go out there and give it a good crack. I was talking to Veg. We've got to wind up, but I was talking to Veg the other day. He's got big raps on Mark Craig. He's obviously is this a, is this the year for him to come good? Well, he's had a great start. He batted really well in Wellington for us, and he started. I was a bit unhappy with that dive. Nice and he dived. Well. looked great on that dive, and he just didn't take the catch. But it was it was a great dive. I love the dive. <laughs> yeah, no, he's coming on well. No, it's just one of those things. Cricket's an opportunity game, isn't it? Yeah. You take your opportunities. You never know what's around the corner for you. And Beardy went he back. He's playing. Uh, is he back? Is he yeah, back right available right. now? Yeah, he's back again. You know, right. So, so look, so you're both pretty confident we're going to get this over the line on, the, on Friday night? Yeah, I don't think Butsy is, but you know, he won't be playing. But I'll, I'll be watching on the couch. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be watching on the couch. Because you don't get to go. Yeah, he's injured, eh? Yeah. Be. Right. So, um, so when, when are the boys away? Way tomorrow? Uh, way tomorrow, yep. Uh, travel day, train, uh, and then you know, the game coming up. On and when's night. the. So you play Friday night, then yeah. you're in hiatus mode? Uh, yeah, sort of. We, we slip into the four day. Back into four-day cricket. Yeah, cricket. So we don't play any more one-day cricket till when December twenty-seven. Yeah, is it? Yeah. Up at that's up at Modern New Park. Yeah. So and then you've got a series of games through. Yeah. The last six round twenty twenty finishes right. off the tournament. Okay. Right, boys. We'll leave it there. Look, um, that's it from ODT Cricket Chat this week. Look, I said last week we'd win, and they let me down badly. But as you can see, they've promised they'll get us over the line on Friday night. So make sure you tune on to Sky Sport. Hopefully Craig Cummings not commentating and you'll get a decent look at the game. And these guys will win and go on to win some four-day games from now on Christmas. And we may do some, we won't do probably an ODT cricket chat for a couple of weeks, but what we will do is we might do some videos with the boys during the four-day game. So look out for those on 
on the ADT website. Cheers.